Scott Brown here, in today's exciting episode we talk about timber treatment in New Zealand. Look at this beautiful box corner here. The uh, scriber has completely disappeared and um, the facing itself is actually a tongue and groove floorboard. If you can believe that. That is the groove side there. Probably not the worst thing to use because the scriber rotted and disappeared but the flooring has uh, lasted a lot longer. Anyway, that's what we're doing today. We're repairing little things like that. Corner boxes and this here that I finished repairing earlier. It's the same sort of problem. That stuff there had all rotted away. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. Now timber treatment, I used some H1.2 to uh, repair this hole in the wall that was here. No, 3.1. I said H1.2 there, didn't I? It's H3.1. And what does the H stand for? Well, that's hazard, like hazard class. And in New Zealand, it ranges from H1 to H6, I believe is the highest. All this stuff here, all that window stuff, that'll be H3.1. This decking, H3.2. So the H3.2 is the sort of semi-structural stuff on the outside of a building. Um, as long as it's not embedded in the ground, H3.2 is okay. H3.1, on the other hand, has to be sealed once you've cut it. If you look closely, it's, it's all primed, and um, when you cut the ends, you have to prime those ends as well because the treatment is sort of surface level, I guess. So I'm putting it in H3.1, but the only difference I'm making is that I'm keeping it up off the ground, whereas they poured the concrete slab around the timber, and that's what rotted it. Now if you want timber to go into the ground, I mean, you know, you try and avoid that if you can, but if you have to put timber in the ground in New Zealand, you have to use either H4, 5, or 6. H6 is like what they build like wharfs out of, you know? H5 is what houses go on, so house piles, uh, H5, and H4 is like fence posts, landscaping, timber, things like that. nearly done with this box corner. Just gotta prime this and put it on. One of the most common questions I get regarding uh, timber is why is our timber pink? Now you would have seen in my other videos if you've already subscribed that we use a lot of pink timber for our framing, for, for just pretty much everything. Now the pink stuff is H1.2, which is pretty much the lowest grade that we use. H1 and H1.1 exist, but I don't think I've even seen them. That's how uncommon they are and I think it's because the minimum requirement on a house is H1.2 and the companies that sell the timber don't want you to accidentally use the wrong timber and um, get yourself and them in trouble. So they make it very difficult for you to buy anything lower than H1.2 and that's the reason why when I built that bench, that workbench, it was all pink because um, that's just the only timber I could get to do the job. Let me put this little scriber on. It's not a perfect match to the other one, but uh, I'll do a bit of planing and sanding to get it to get it pretty close. I don't like to silicon the timber timber scribers. I just like to prime them and get them in there because everything's going to move, you know. And silicon doesn't last forever.
All right. The further away from it you get, the better it looks. Most important thing though, the ground clearance. So we use uh, pine for pretty much all our timber here in New Zealand. Obviously there are exceptions. Pine's the cheapest, it grows the quickest. So we haven't always used treated timber. That's sort of a new thing. And it comes with like the, the fact that we had to go from native timber to timber that grows quicker, which is pine. So this is pine and this other stuff is like the native timber that, you know, trees that were like a hundred years old. You have to chop them all down and, you know, it's not very sustainable. You have to wait a hundred years for a tree to grow and then you chop it down. They switch to pine. The problem with pine is it has no durability, basically. The insects can eat it, the moisture can rot it, and that's where the timber treatment comes in, you know? I think that looks all right. As far as how they treat it, I'm not 100% sure on that. I've read up and they said it's like a, um, a vacuum seal kind of thing that pressures the, I guess it pressures the treatment into the timber. One form of timber treatment here in New Zealand is to layer paint on over and over and over. So you end up with these old timber houses with about four coats of paint on it. Anyway, what I'm doing here is just to prime it, just so, you know, moisture doesn't ruin the timber. So, if anybody's wondering where Pato is, um, he's actually on holiday. I think he's away for a couple of weeks, and, um, I'll be doing the same. I'll be heading off very soon. I'm staying in New Zealand. I'll be going to the South Island. So that'll be the end of next week. Very exciting.